P.T. Peacock. Peacock reads. Peacock reads. Peacock reads. The Peacock family ate porridge, hot cereal, and prunes for breakfast. Then the Peacock family put themselves to work. Papa Peacock went off to his job as policeman in Pleasant Park. Mama helped each little peacock do his part in keeping their home neat. Soon, the little peacocks ran outside to play. P.T. Peacock walked through the backyard and saw all different kinds of flowers. God made everything very special, thought P.T. Peacock as he folded his green and blue tail feathers. Suddenly, a voice called to P.T. Peacock. Excuse me, P.T. Peacock, what are you thinking? Look up here. P.T. Peacock looked up. Pity Peacock could not believe his eyes. It was a speaking peach tree. Do not be afraid, Pity Peacock pleaded the peach tree. My name is Peachy Peach. Oh, said Pity Peacock with surprise. My name is Pity Peacock. I know you, said Peachy Peach. I watch you every day. I can always tell when you are thinking hard. You spread out your shiny green and blue tail feathers. Then your polka dot tail looks like a pretty fan. Thank you, Peachy Peach, said Pity Peacock politely. I was just thinking about how God created all the different plants and animals, even us peacocks. God made peach trees too. Put in peachy peach. God gave peach trees pink petals, parts of the flowers. My pink petals are warmed by the sunshine. Soon, God will turn each flower blossom into a plum peach. You are right, peachy peach, agreed Pity Peacock. God created you perfectly. Pity Peacock, peachy peach, cried a deep voice. Peachy Peach looked around to see a pine tree waving a green branch. Excuse me, said the pine tree. My name is Piney Pine. I heard what you said. Could it be possible that God made me special too? I am just a great big pokey pine tree. Of course, said Pity Peacock. God has a plan for all the things he made. Piney Pine perked up his green branches as he listened. Suddenly, Piney Pine's pine cones shook with excitement. Peachy Peacock, Peachy Peach, cried Piney Pine. I spy little children running to the playground. Perhaps they have come for a picnic. Yay! cheered Pity Peacock. Pity Peacock spread his pretty polka dot tail out as far as he possibly could. Peachy Peach perked up her soft pink petals. Piney Pine put on a smile from branch to branch. The little people came down the path to the playground. They spied Pity Peacock's tail. Several children gently touched Pity Peacock's long tail feathers called plumes. They placed their hands on the soft peacock plumes. Other children ran over to Peachy Peach. They stood on tiptoe to smell Peachy Peach pink petals. A little girl with long brown ponytails patted one of the pink peach blossoms. The little girl smiled up at Peachy Peach. 
Peachy Peach did not say a word. Please come to the picnic table, called a mother and father nearby. It's time to eat our lunch. The happy little boys and girls obeyed quickly. They ran to the picnic table. I do enjoy children, grinned Pity Peacock after the children were gone. I would like for them to stay longer. They are so polite. Not one child pulled my feathers. What polite little people, said Peachy Peach happily. No one picked off my pretty pink petals. Then Pity Peacock and Peachy Peach looked at Piney Pine. Piney Pine was very, very quiet. His branches were hanging down. Something is wrong with Piney Pine, thought Pity Peacock. Something is very wrong. I must find out what it is.